In today's episode about Norwegian plans to build the first tunnel for the passage of ships. Welcome to the Y channel. Enjoy watching. The tunnel is to be bored in this rock and will be the first structure of this type in the world. The total investment is expected to amount 315 million. The tunnel is to be cut through the Stad Peninsula and will be the world's first marine tunnel for ships. The aim of the whole project is to allow ships to pass through the peninsula in such a way that they can avoid passing around it. The sea in the area where the structure is to be built is characterized by very difficult conditions for navigation. And besides, the weather in this area is very capricious, so much so that due to its changes in recent years, about 100 people have lost their lives in this region. Waves appearing in this area can reach up to 33 meters in height. The first plans to build a tunnel in this area appeared over 40 years ago. However, for many years it was not technically possible to implement the project. Recently, however, the plan was officially approved and it is known that it will be implemented. It was decided to build a tunnel between the towns of Kajodpolen and Mold of Jordan as the peninsula is the narrowest here. Thus, construction will be the least expensive. The tunnel will be 1.7 kilometers long, 33 meters high, 21.5 meters wide and 12 meters deep. Initially, it was planned that ships with a tonnage of up to 500 tons could pass it. However, at the moment, its dimensions are to allow the passage of freighters and passenger ships with a displacement of up to 16,000 tons. The tunneling began in 2018 and is expected to last four years. The tunnel is to have a concrete vault and special rubber bumpers to prevent the ship from colliding with its walls. There is also a project to be implemented of a special system that allows ships to pass by in such a way as to minimize the risk of a collision. Drilling is to take place on both sides of the peninsula in such a way that the teams meet in the middle. Of course, special dams are to be built prior to construction, preventing water from spilling onto the construction site. It is estimated that the construction will require the removal of over 8 million tons of rock material from the interior of the peninsula. The whole venture is so advanced and unimaginable that we will probably not see something so complicated and innovative in the world soon. Write in the comments if you liked it, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to not miss interesting materials.